Welcome to today's Microsoft Flight Simulator video tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to change your sky colors to look like this from the default colors which look like this. So here you can see there's a noticeable difference and in my opinion the new sky colors are far more realistic and true to life. So what we're looking at now is New York City at dusk with uh, the sun just gone down over the horizon and these sky colors uh, look different mo most noticeably during dusk and dawn so you won't really see any difference during the day so how do you do this well it's actually very straightforward the original mod came out about six weeks ago which was quite mm, maybe risky is a word that i'd use uh, to describe it a lot of people were hesitant because it could mess up your future microsoft flight simulator downloads and updates uh, like the world updates and the sim updates a lot of people didn't want to do it therefore a couple of days ago a new uh, easier way was released and I'm going to show you how to add this modification to your sim in today's video so what do we do well if we just pause the simulator for a second and we go into the uh, web page where you download this mod so someone called drunk winter I'll put the link in the description has created this mod and what they've done is they have uploaded a zip file which you need to download so you ignore these two source files here and you simply download the zip file I'll do it right now there we go it's downloaded open it up and voila we have three files um, you need to install these three files into your Microsoft installation content folder okay so first of all you'll extract the files and then you need to go to your installation folder and this will be in a different place for different people depending on where you installed it and which version of Microsoft Flight Simulator you own so I own the uh, Microsoft Store version not the Steam version and in the Microsoft Store version I chose to uh, install it on uh, disk drive D so I created a custom folder I call it MSFS you might have it somewhere else I think on Drunk Winter's github page uh, he has uh, various installation paths that you might have put your flight simulator installed into uh, so you can check out his recommendations for where to find your installation folder in case you do not know where it is in any case once you find it here's mine you open up the Microsoft Flight Simulator installation folder you'll see content you open up that and all you do is you drag your extracted th once you've extracted them these three files into your inst installation content folder okay so your content folder by the way if you're wondering if it's the right folder it holds the .exe of Flight Simulator so the executable file so you know that that's the, the right folder if that's inside it now what you can also do is modify the configurator file here this is optional this step you don't have to do this you could just launch the sim now and it will work your sky colors will be changed but you could modify like I did uh, the configuration uh, file uh, to allow whoops I lost it here it is to allow you to turn on and off the to toggle on and off the sky colors so that you can compare them like I did at the start of this video to the original default Microsoft sky colors so it's an optional step you don't have to do but this is how you, what you need to do if you want to do that you need to change the value from false by default this will be false this one here that I've highlighted you need to type true so don't add any spaces or anything you just change the word false to true and same for this one will be false by default you change it to true so you just type true and save the file and that's it so you need to do that um, to enable then on your keyboard the shortcut control and insert so you press ctrl control and ins insert at the same time and that will toggle on and off the sky colors in the sim so if we go back into the sim now and we go to resume you see that if I press on my keyboard control insert it toggles on and off the sky colors so very very easy to do very simple steps to carry out to get this change and um, with this method you don't really need to worry so you're not actually changing anything in the executable file or any of the original files in that content folder in saying that though I would say you know there could be something that I don't know that might be messed up um, in a future update 
because you have these files installed so just do it at your own risk but i think the risk should be fairly small um what i would recommend before the next microsoft official update that you download remove those three files as a precaution and probably it's necessary to do that in order to not mess up your um, installation so definitely i would say remove those three files before the next microsoft download that you do any any update that you see or hear about uh, cancel it and first remove those um, three files just to avoid any conflicts so just maybe to show you a cycle through the time of day uh, with these sky colors added these new sky colors so if I go from nighttime midnight and we go to dawn you'll see what they look like so they're far more realistic and subtle during the day it looks pretty much the same as the default but going to dusk you see uh, you have a less orange sky and a much more natural dusk and twilight and again if I switch now to the Microsoft default sky colors and do the same transition throughout the day you see the sky is far more purpley and red and less realistic and true to life so I'm going to switching back now to the new sky color as you can see it's a subtle and strong difference depending on what point of the sunrise or sunset you're at um, but far more realistic and I think at altitude as well which obviously I'm at low altitude right now but at high altitude uh, I think it will give you a much more um, realistic uh, view on the horizon of the sun rising and sun setting okay that's it so I hope you got some value out of this video I would really appreciate if you could like and subscribe to my channel it really would help and if you want to leave any comments in the comment section and ask any questions please feel free to do so okay see you in the next video